All right, hello everyone. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the Sacramento Hyperspace Trial and the Isophane Challenge. We have Sam versus Vincent here, both 2-0 and going into this third round. If you want to follow along online, we actually have a link to the tabletop.to site where you can go ahead and follow along uh, in the rankings. You can look at lists, the ones that have been submitted, um, and all that. But let's go ahead and start by telling you to make sure to choose your champion, player one. So number one in the chat is going to be Sam. Two is Vincent. Very easy to participate. You literally just type either of those numbers in the chat, press enter. I know some people aren't super comfortable chatting all the time uh, in the Twitch chat, but hey, don't worry about it. You're literally just putting in a number. Very, very easy. All right, on the left, we have Stan Sam Stott. Yes, that is not a typo. His name is not Sam Scott. It is Sam Stott. And he's running Scum Aces. We got Han Solo with Trick Shot, Lando's Millennium Falcon, Gurry with Just Predator, and Fen Rao with no upgrades, sitting at I believe it is 198 points. Then on the right side, we have player two, Vincent Morgado, with a Rebel Squadron consisting of Luke Skywalker with Sense, Arvo Krennid with Intimidation, Jake Farrell with Predator and Marksmanship, and Wedge Antilles rounding it out at Initiative 6 with Predator and Servo Motor, so servo motor S Foils. Vincent, a little, little nervous there moving. He's like, oh, no, I bought my ship. <sighs> Don't get mad at me, stream. He's fine. He's good. He's good. So I dropped that in the chat. Reminder to all my friends out there to hit that subscribe button. Uh, the clock is correct. A couple people asking, is that clock right? Yes, the, t the time started before uh, we came live here. So we're using the official clock. If we really need to, we'll start later. But uh, these players had plenty of time to get set up. So we're all good. I'm actually going to go ahead and rearrange the ships a little bit. Looks like Luke is this one. Wedge needs to go up, 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 up. Luke and Arvo on the bottom. On the left here, looks like we got Fen in the middle. And Han on the bottom. Just like that. All right, fantastic. We're all lined up. We got our colors out there. We're ready to rumble. All right, Mega Silver, thank you so much. Bringing us to 581. I did realize when I signed off and was getting ready for the next round that I forgot about that $450 prize that we we're going to give away. So uh, we got that coming here in the giveaways after round three. We're going to be giving away a, um, a token tray by Hanson Bros Gaming. Hanson Brothers Gaming. We'll talk about it here a little bit later. Gonna take a peek at something. Just give me a second, guys. Yep, 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 yep. All right, uh, number pink. Honestly, um, <laughs> my number pink num uh, stickers have been running a little low, and I couldn't find them in the uh, in the stack. So we're using green and red uh, for this one. So sorry about no no number pink on this one. Though in hindsight, I realized they probably shouldn't have used red and green because those of you who can't see in color, um, kind of rude. My bad. We need a number pink soon. <laughs> People voting Vincent can't win. No pink. You know, that might be the truth. All right, getting the A-wing out the way. That's Jake. Two banking through him. Uh, shout out to Sam Stott. He uh, was a college student in the Sacramento area and actually hooked us up with some uh, tokens that we're going to be giving away. He made on his own. He said, hey, you know, I've been going to this college for X number of years and just realized this year that I have access to a laser cutter. So uh, I want to give you some stuff to give away. So we'll be doing that a little bit later in the day. That'll be super fun. And the channel is just the whole Sacramento area. You guys, they provided a bunch of different things for giveaways. Got some cars. Got some those painted ships that we gave away earlier. Um, of course, Isophane and his 
generosity as well as um, the other generals who are all here. It's funny. It's, we we crowned them last week, the Gold Squadron generals. It was Isophane, Chewbacca, um, Tycho, and the real fun Bobby. And they're actually all here at the same hyperspace trial. So shout out to them. All right, barrel roll here with Luke. Trying to control that center. I'm surprised that he, uh, Vincent, so willing to go into the rocks, especially with Han basically saying, please play in the rocks, please. Of course, we got to see how fast did, uh, did Sam go. All right, Sam, hard-turning Gurry. Remember that Star Vipers have access to the uh, curvy barrel roll. And target lock the rock. It's actually kind of really hard to see. It's the same. It's wood, same color as the uh, as the rock. There, we're out of range. And Han, probably doing a two or a three forward. There's a two forward. Oh my goodness! Does he have the original Gold Squadron templates? Oh no, he won a set. He won a set of the uh, of the crimson ones. Nice. Very cool. So looking at the poll right now, people um, are favoring Sam's list here. Um, obviously having these three scum ships that all have lots of cool tricks is pretty awesome. All right, Vincent trying to decide about his S foils. Deciding to keep them closed. I want, I want that boost. Maybe three bank here. Just keeping his squadron together. Craytastrophe in the chat saying that Sam is a great list builder. I believe you. It's a cool list. No advanced sensors on Guri. That's one th important thing to note from people watching in the chat. A lot of people see Guri automatically, you know, think advanced sensors in their head. Not the case here. Sam trying to get all the work done without having to pay for advanced sensors. Fenral hard turning to the center. Will he stay there or barrel roll out? Just to focus for now. He doesn't want to telegraph where he's going. He's trying to check range here. Wedge is out of range. And we might have some Luke versus Han action. All right, going on the Luke. Two dice extra for Han because of Trick Shot and Lando's Millennium Falcon. That seems good way to start. He's tempted to spend that focus. He's going for it. He wants to rip off some shields. All righty. He has force to spend both force. Takes two shields right off the bat. All right. Luke coming back. All right, one hit coming in from Han. Han's ability, doing some work here. Four dice. Safe. Enough. Jake is up next. Ooh, crit, crit. And Natty's baby. Sam, all in the wrists, these dramatic dice saying, no, we want Han to live. All righty, no shots there from Guri. We're back to dials. All righty. <laughs> They're talking to me through the camera. <laughs> saying it's Dio and we're sorry. <laughs> oh, man, you know, one of my favorite things about um, – 
casting is when people are having a good time. Like, of course, games can be high pressure. You know, there's a camera there, but you know, just people having fun. That is my favorite. We're going to go ahead and close down the Twitch poll. Sam is in the lead, 53% to 46. That's still a pretty close margin. We'll see how it shakes out. Now, for those of you who don't know, currently Gold Squadron is on a world tour. Yes, world tour. You might be thinking, oh, aren't you from the U.S.? You're in California. Does that really count? Well, this is stop number three out of six <laughs> in the world tour. This is continent number uh, one, technically, because uh, the first event was in the U.S. as well. But we were in Buenos Aires. That is in South America last weekend. And after this event, on Monday, I am flying to Poland, which is going to be Europe, continent number three. We're going to be streaming the XTC, that's the X-Wing Team Championships, happening, happening before the European Championships. So we're streaming the Team Championships. Then we're streaming the European Championships. Um, then we're going to be flying to Australia. We're going to have a Gold Squadron Fight, uh, excuse me, Gold Squadron Flight Club in Australia. We're going to be doing one of those. And then we have the Australian system open. After that, I fly back home for one more event to round out here in the United States, actually in Chicago, in our home store, the Gold Squadron Hyperspace Trial. Um, that's going to be that last week. And if you want to see all the events, if you need a calendar, to either print out or have in your Google Calendar or just add to your personal calendar, you can go and type exclamation point events in the chat and you'll see all of the things we got coming. All right, here is, this is Arvel, right? Yep, Initiative 3, Arvel, 3 banking, trying to get in the fight, trying to get a block on somebody, use that ability. Those of you who don't know, Arvel is allowed to shoot at range zero of ships. And he has intimidation, so when he's at in range zero of somebody, he actually gets to reduce their agility by one. So it's a really powerful ability when you have other ships shooting, and of course, Arvel gets to use it himself because he gets to shoot somebody at range zero. Hard one here from Jake. Sorry, somebody in the chat is uh, his name Tycho. I keep wanting to say Tycho. Fun Dan, will you stream HS tournament on Thursday too? Uh, are you talking about in Poland? I don't. If you're talking about in Poland, no. I'm gonna do the the full uh, XTC. And then we'll do Euros on the weekend. The Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All right. Vincent going hard where he thinks Han is going to be. That's going to be a bump with Luke. Well, that could hurt. DJ Sathan, eight months. Thank you so much for your sub. Thank you to Tycho Kelchu, who's playing in the tournament and subbing at the same time. Now that's next level. Alright, let's see what is up. Where's Guri going? Where are you going, Goo Goo? One of my good good friends out there. In Chicago. Likes to call Guri Goo Goo. I can't get it out of my head, so thank you very much, Jeremy. <laughs> Alright, and that micro thrusters barrel roll to the side, getting out of Fen's way. I suspect Finn is going to gun it here and try to get on the back side of these X-Wings. All right, Wedge, two bank. He'll drop down a focus and happily await to intercept Han Solo. All right, there's Finn. Four straight. Probably going to see a boost here and just prepare to bring him around. Maybe a lock. Either one. 
good idea. Just depends on what he is trying. What are what are his thoughts? There is the lock in his hand. Debating on where he wants to put that target lock and chooses on Luke Skywalker. I mean, you already got those shields off. Seems like a good idea. All right, Han moving into the fray. He's going to be bumping onto Jake, which is going to eliminate one shot. He's still going to be getting shot by both Wedge and Luke. Though this does mean that Han only has a shot on Arvel. Hmm. Han is in for some pain. No actions, no type of ability whatsoever. Good call by Vincent. All right, here we go. Wedge, four dies into the, <laughs> into the big boy, he says. He'll spend that focus because he has no shots coming in. Three hits right off the bat. Shields are down on Han. Eight hole left to go. Luke is up next. Well, Han's actually going to go up next. Does he have the corner? All right, looks like they're calling it in. All right, so he's debating now whether to shoot against Luke or against Arvel, who's stressed. He'll get the additional die because of Lando's Millennium Falcon title. Looks like he went into Luke and whiffed. That nets Vincent an additional force available for his attack here. Only needs to spend one anyway. Four hits going into Han. No evade there. Han down to four hole. That's half points. Rough going there for Han. Arvel is going to be shooting Gurry next at range two, is it, or three? Pew Pew has a focus and safe. All right. All right, we're back to planning here. So for those of you who are just tuning in, want to tell you guys that there's a couple of things going on here. After this round, we're going to be doing some giveaways. We're going to be giving away a, uh, a token box here by Hanson Brothers Gaming, uh, who is a, a newer sponsor here for Gold Squadron. They're officially going to be sponsoring when we get to Europe, but he's actually, one of the brothers is here, so we're going to be, uh, talking up their stuff here in a little bit. We're going to be giving away one of their trays. Um, we have the Isofane Challenge going on right now. We're at 581. We had a bunch of different prizes at, uh, at each level, uh, depending on where we get. And what we're doing is as we hit sub goals, we're giving away stuff. We're giving away stuff to the Twitch chat. So join us in the Twitch chat if you want your chance on winning. Of course, we have our normal giveaways. We have cards and tokens and things like that that we're giving away, but also these uh, just bigger prizes which are super fun to give away, and thank you so much to everybody who's donated to make it possible. If you guys don't know what the Isofane Challenge is, um, one of our uh, supporters here who actually lives in the Sacramento area uh, is a big big supporter, and he said he will match donations up to $5,000. Um, and that's what we're, ge we're keeping track down there. So far, uh, we've had $581 donated. Uh, thank you to so much. And that's just going to help us bring more Gold Squadron content to uh, to the world. You know, being able to travel to so many different places, bring you guys X-Wing tournaments from around the world. X-Wing is um, played so so many places that we don't get to see. And my goal is to show off some of these players who uh, normally don't get play. Here we go. Two bank. Probably going to – I could see a boost here, honestly, if he's just trying to bully 
He's going to go ahead and focus boost, maybe. There it is. I like the move. All right, takes a stress because of vectored thrusters. All right, going to go ahead and mark Han out of the way. What's the plan here? So it looks like Jake is going to be entering the fight on the left side of the board. Does he make it? I don't think so. No, that's not going. That's not going away. He's just kind of kind of moving up. <laughs> uh, Baloney in the chat saying, not putting a hand on the template stresses me out. I will tell you that it does for me as well. <laughs> uh, I... 100% and a proponent of two hands when moving ships. All right, and we're getting a talent roll here. That's a really aggressive move from Vincent. He is calling, but I don't even think the three bank from Han gets gets past we'll have to see I'm really curious to see what happens here I think he was trying to avoid the 4k to not get in Han's arc just in case Han doesn't move and there's the block from Marvel Gary not making much movement a little bit of turning now of course one of the issues is the fact that Arvel is reducing Guri's agility, but there's nobody out there to take advantage of it at the moment. All right. And flip. Talon roll as well on Luke Skywalker. Too hard. Fen trying to come in. And Fen just coming in here. Boost, focus, trying to start doing some damage. And is Han going to be hopping over? That is the question. Was he in the bullseye? Oh, no, that's a T-70. Ah, be right back.
Alrighty. Alright, Han. Gonna go ahead and boost the bottom of the board. And focus, looking at the arcs right now. Not sure that, I mean, Han might be able to clip wedge. It's close. All right, checking to see if wedge had range. Range three on Luke from Han. Luke is stressed, so he's going to get an additional die. And that's two. And that's going to be a whole damage there. Luke at half points. It's 34 points scored by Sam. He's going to go range three on Luke Skywalker with Fenn. He's got a focus. He's trying to be aggressive. He might just go ahead and spend this here. Wouldn't be surprised. He does. Forces Luke to spend a force. Force, 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 force. <laughs> no damage there. All righty. Going into Han from Luke. Spends one force. Got the evade. All right, that is it. I think we're back to dials here. Now, with Guri being bullied by Arvel, the question is, and I think uh, what I want to see as the game progresses is, as he continues to maybe just continuously block Guri, which Arvel can do if, uh, if Vincent continues to select the right maneuvers, what is the value, like, how much value can Vincent get out of keeping Guri out of the fight? Now, he very well could if Sam calls him on a certain type of block where um, Vincent can end up ends up just losing Arvel. Also, Arvel's job is to block, use intimidation in order to, you know, lower agility and things like that. And that's not being used, at least not yet. Uh, Luke should be at a single force because he, yep, he should be at one. Party time. <laughs> the real Elroth, you are in charge of hourly praise of Devin Morales. Shane214, thank you so much for your donation, man. $50 says, thanks, Dion, for all the great casts. You're welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome. All right, so Arvel, hard turn to. And uh, if you're going to write her name in the chat, it is D-E-V-O-N, just so you guys know. O-N. She does, she does get a little triggered when she sees the I-N. That's all right. You didn't know, though. Barrel roll here. Interesting. Huh. Jake just trying to cover space here. For where Guri might go. Barrel roll boosting. So Sam just asking about Jake's ability. All the shenanigans. It's alright, Catastrophe. You didn't know. Now you know, man. Uh, 
Ready to try to decide. Yeah, he should be stressed. There we go. <laughs> Alright, trying to wait on see who's the next ship. Alright, here's Luke. Looks to be a two bank. Hmm. A boost from Luke here actually is pretty strong, but his wings are open. Oh no, they're closed. And does. So, Mr. Fenral gonna be um, probably bumping here. See where is Wedge coming? It's two bank gonna try to set up a shot here on Fen if uh, Fen ends up getting blocked. Oh, Fen hasn't moved yet. Where is the? Yep, and there's the bump. Vincent is the first player. All right, so Sam thinking about boosting here around the top of the board. Chat, thanks for your support there. Oh, crit, crit, crit coming in from Wedge into Fen. All right, Sam looking for some natties here. All right, <laughs> Vincent saying that you got to dig deep on this one, brother. Here we go. And he's got one evade, two crits coming in. What? Not sure what they are. We'll be able to take a peek here uh, in a little bit. Hmm? Uh, Fen. Isofane, going to take a peek. All right, range two. Weapons failure and stun pilot. Thank you so much. Weapons failure and stun pilot. Cool. Got it. All right. One hit from Fen going into Wedge. He's got two dice coming in. Still has a focus and is able to spend it in order to avoid taking any damage. Han is up. Has a shot on... On to Luke. Luke is stressed. That's going to give Han an additional dice. If he's in the arc. It is range 2. Confirmed. So, so Luke is going to regen a force with his ability. Only one hit there. Not having mods really hurting Sam. And that's safe. All right, Luke into Han, two hits. And that's going to be two more. Down to three hole on Han. <laughs> Sam repeating my mantra. 
the se- the dice giveth and the dice taketh away. <laughs> All right, Gurry going range one into Jake. Oh, that's below average. Has a lock though. There it is. Three hits and a crit. Jake probably going to spend the focus two shields down. That's half points on Jake. Oh, Luke rolled too many dice again. Can you have him take a dive? Yeah. Yeah. Go, go ahead. All right, ends up with a fuel leak at the end with Han. Still took two damage. After the reroll of doing uh, Luke's ability again. <laughs> Sometimes it turns out worse. Yeah, that was a re-roll of Luke's attack because of too many dice. The dice I've, I've said it many times. They giveth and they taketh away. Right, so your your game is done already? Yeah. How'd it go? Uh, 3-0 right now. 3-0 Isofane climbing to the top. Trying to get that W so he can pass down that uh, world's invite because he can't go to <laughs> world's. <laughs> So going to Worlds would be a death sentence for me. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. All righty. So we are in the planning phase. People cheering you on. Just want to hang out? Yeah. <laughs> All right. In, in the quiet room. Is my thing on? Is this on? Oh, oh. <laughs> is oh. this thing on? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Uh, Gamer Tuba, if you go on Twitch, if you scroll down, there's a BB-8 icon that says one-time donation. You click that, and it'll you can it'll follow the prompt asking how you want to donate and how much you want to donate. Mm -hmm. um, or if you're on mobile, I think you go to like the Gold Squadron page. You hit info, I want to say. Yes. On the, on the app. And then once you hit info, you scroll down. There'll be, again, the BB-8 symbol asking for if you want to do a one-time donation. Yeah. If you're already watching, uh, instead of uh, most of you guys are holding your phone uh, horizontal, switch it to vertical. It'll automatically give you like the – the, the kind of like the, the image, click on the icon for Gold Squadron Podcast, and that'll take you to the page. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're looking at Wedge currently in a position to try to punish Fenrau. Is it way too predictable for Fen to do a 4K here? Let's see. He's not stressed. Yeah, a 4K would be a very interesting move. Though, uh, though he has a weapons, <laughs> I think you were about to say, <laughs> though he has a weapons, weapons failure, failure right now, yeah. which which hurts. I mean, four dice range one's still pretty good though. <laughs> Sam at the table thinking about sense. He's like, oh, yep. man. <laughs> sense can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I love our Gold Squadron community. You know, shout out to the people in chat real quick. I wanted to just take a second and say, um, you know, there was somebody in the chat who got upset because I told them to be respectful to players. And uh, said, I guess if censorship's going to be like this around here, I'll just leave. <laughs> it's like, it's not censorship. I just asked you to be respectful. When you uh, chat in in the – when you agree to go in the chat, that's in the rules. Mm -hmm. It's to be respectful. So it's all like – I love you guys. Thank you so much for keep, keeping, keeping our chat respectful, uh, having fun without being a jerk, you know? Yep. It's possible. Mm -hmm. Defense at what, two health left? Yeah, yeah. He probably is gonna bug out. Yeah. And then fix those crits and come back around. So can I draw on this thing? Yeah, do uh, go. <laughs> so maybe yes, like something may. like this, because he he uh Vincent has initiative, right? Or pl first player. Yeah. So maybe come here, fix a crit, and maybe come back around this way at the end. Let's try to try to chew up some Marv, uh, yeah. some Jake. You know, get behind Jake. Clear. Where's the clear button? <laughs> All right here. Okay. Trash can. There you go. Now we know why Farmer loves this thing. <laughs> yeah, oh um, yeah, it's super fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, I like the idea. Here's sense. So I think Fen is going in this direction somewhere, like you said, Daniel. Cool. All right, Arvel, two bank. Trying to intercept him some Han Solo. Wouldn't be surprised to see some Vector Thrusters action here with a boost. Yep, yep focus there and boost is. coming in. I'm trying to get the block on uh, on Han there. Big Scholar, I see you. Thank you for the offer, man. I'll see if I ever... OC, I'm assuming you're saying Orange County, right? That's OC. Is that another place in California? I think I've been to like... <laughs> a bunch of cities in California. I, just, I gotta get them all. Gotta do the whole, the whole Kelly, whole California. All right, it's gonna bump into Gurry. All right, Fen. Uh, sorry, no, it's Luke. Luke might be just one banking over. We'll find out. Yep. It's important to note that Luke still hasn't opened his wings. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> you forgot again. Oh, no, he knows. He boosts. He's boosting. All right, white boost. But, I mean, sometimes you're like, oh, look at this boost I got. Mm -hmm. And look at these three dice. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you forget sometimes. Banking in, also anticipating Han's movement. Mm -hmm. He knows. He knows. <laughs> he remembers. He remembers. <laughs> oh, man. Great sport. <laughs> All righty. So Wedge, I believe, is the next one up. No, Gurry. And is that the sloop? Sloop. Oh, nice. That's a good there. spot. He won't be able to get the focus token because yeah. it is a focus action. But still having the range one shot uh, has a possibility of taking Jake off the board, especially that he doesn't have any uh, any Oops. tokens. Rango Fett, thank you so much for your donation. Exclamation point. Yes. Uh, another donation. Awesome. Thanks, guys. All right. Wedge. One banking here that blocks the 4K. Mm -hmm. Nope. And uh, Gamber Gambler Tuba also got another fifteen dollars. Thank you Thank so you much, Gambler Tuba. Barrel roll. Mm -hmm. He's trying. Oh, now he knows sense is happening though. So that's yeah. That's so he knows the turning away. Be. Yeah. All right, marking him out the way. Two turn, probably just fix the weapons failure. All 
All right, we'll see what the action is here. And flipping the weapons failure. Yep. I mean, you brought Fen to be a gun, right? <laughs> you you got to take care of that ASAP. Let's go ahead and fix that. Oh. Awesome. Another donation from Magic242, $20. Thank you very much. See, Appreciate it. I think it. they're donating now that you're here. I, that you're I, I should just sit here, right? It's just because they they want you want to show you like, like, oh, look, you're doubling this. Yep. You're doubling this So number. basically your $20 turned into 40 Someone with a 50 turns to 100, and the uh, 20 turns into 40. Or yeah. I think that's what it was. Yeah, it's, it's the, I, the isophane peer pressure yes. they're saying in the chat. <laughs> or, or the taunts. I mean, you guys only hit like $700. My wallet's still really heavy, guys. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's in my pocket. It's, it's bulging there. I, I You know. <laughs> awesome. All right, so he just assigned the focus. I don't think that's correct because it is a focus action, isn't it? No, I thought or is it a sign of focus? I thought you acquired we focus could, we could be I could be completely wrong. I've been wrong before. Uh, game one game. focus. Oh, yeah. So that's that's legit. That's legal. There you go. Legal. We're good. Oh, man, yeah. Whew. Jake Jake's in for some hurt here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, is it Haminator? Haminator? Yeah, my yeah. bulging pocket. My bulging pants. <laughs> <laughs> With my wallet, of course. <laughs> of course. Let's make it clear. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. First shot here. That was Luke. No, no damage there. Excuse me, was that... Uh, I'm not sure. It was two dice... Coming oh, from was that? Scott. Um, was that? Oh, that Han, was Han. Han yeah. into uh, Luke. Uh, Who? That is. Arvel's gone. Ooh, Excuse me, not Arvel. Arvel, Jake, the other A wing. Yes, Jake. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to keep track of this stuff here, guys. <laughs> you never know what it's like on this end until you see it. <laughs> A Jedi Knight errant. That is one of the best use of the Dion emote I think I've seen. Mm hmm. <laughs> Uh, was it DJ uh, Sathin? Uh, not great for sleep. Intimidation was on there, so uh, that's just gonna be straight two damage onto Han. Mm -hmm. He's down to one hole. Rough. But yeah, so for my my babies, I got a one month old and a two year old. So when one's asleep, the other's awake, and when the other's awake, the first one's asleep. <laughs> so there's there's not much sleep. <laughs> They're super cute, by the way, guys. I got to see them both. Uh, Aethal, thank you so much for your dono. Yes, and they're at $20. Thank you. Yes, I'm coming to Europe. And then, uh, was it Big Scholar? Uh, we are at uh, Great Escape Games in Sacramento. It's like a really cool, like, hidden store. It's pretty cool. It's yeah. like in the back. Mm -hmm. It's like a back of a mini mall. Warehouse. You know warehouse what, since, style. since you're here, completely unrelated to all this, um, there's a Jimmy John's nearby for lunch. Would you be down for sandwiches? Yeah. Get them delivered. We don't gotta venture out, unless you want to go out. Yeah, either way. Whatever, whatever. Follow your heart. <laughs> All righty. Twenty-two minutes and change left in the clock. Sam's in a tough spot, but is actually ahead on points with taking out Jake, seventy-three to mm -hmm. sixty-six currently. Though of course he's one point away from losing thirty-two points off of Han yep. uh, being removed from the table. Can Fen and Guri get another ship off the table? That that'll make Sam feel better. Uh, Luke is. I mean, you want to take Luke off off the table, of course. He has three hole left. Hmm. But Wedge is a squishier target. Fen moves last. Wedge is still full health. Luke's at uh, three hole. Arvel still full. Uh, Libel24 in the chat asking, where is the donate button? If you are on PC, simply scroll down. Like, Make sure you're not on full screen. Scroll down, you'll see the BB-8 saying thumbs up. If you're on mobile, on either of the apps, you can go ahead and uh, change your your um, your screen to portrait up and down. Then you'll, you'll see like the chat on the bottom, like in the purple area. Click on the Gold Squadron Podcast icon. It'll bring you to the Gold Squadron Podcast page. Click on info on the options that are there. You'll see like chat. Uh, there's like three other ones on there. But you want info and then BB-8's there. Probably should just look at it, see what those options are. Yes, it's info. It's uh, under info. It's under That's info. That's it. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, you're on, you're through the browser, exactly. That, yep. You yeah. got it. You got it. Rumble Rocket, thank you so much. Wanted to see my name in the corner. Hi. <laughs> thank you, Rumble Rocket. <laughs> Easy, baby. Yeah, so Libel, uh, again, on the PC, if you're in the window on the browser, just literally just scroll down a little bit. There should be a one-time donation question mark, BB-8, and it says click here. You click it, it'll bring you to another page that you can enter, like payment info or how much you want to donate. If you end up at a message, that sort of thing. There's a sense. It's a two bank on Fen. Or maybe it was on. Actually, that might have been Han style. All right. He two banks over. Focus there on Arvel. Clears the stress because he did a blue maneuver. Okay. He flipped his S-foils. And turning away. Or turning towards Guri. Guri's up there still. And he's going to attempt the barrel. I don't think that's going to fit. Oh, that's going to be close. Nope. Not today. That little nub on the rock. So fail action there. That means Luke is only going to have the force. Only have the force. Force is pretty good. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that means Guri is going to get an opportunity to reposition a little bit and maybe make sure that she's out of the arc. Like mm, maybe not because the, the rock is there as well. Yeah. There's no way to get it out. News here from Mar Marcel Manzano. Kayla, one of our Gold Squadron members um, at in Chicago, won the Pastimes Wave 2 tournament. Congratulations to Kayla. Woo -woo. Lysander, yeah. thank you for the donation. Thank you, Lysander. Appreciate it. Sam debating here. What does he want to do? Low uh, cash. That's one hundo, one hundred dollars from low cash. Thank it, you very much. It magically turns into two. <laughs> it turns into double your money. It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's magic. <laughs> Thank you so much for your donation, man. All right, here is. <laughs> I, I didn't know that was yours. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's literally standing over my shoulder. You could, Sorry. you could like cash as well. <laughs> Three bank. It's more fun for him though. He gets he gets to see it on the screen, right? Mm -hmm. Three bank for wedge. He's trying to put the nail in the coffin for Han. Tempting the boost here. So looks like he got he's got space there. And it fits. All right, here's the two bank from Fen. Oh, little 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 bump there. No big deal. He should be able to boost focus and have a range three shot into uh, into Luke. Into there. Luke, probably through a rock as well. Yeah, I mean it's unlikely you do damage, but you have to try. Yep. Wedges wings are closed, so only three dice because it's going to be range one. Well, he hasn't moved yet. Uh, truth, truth. He's out of there. <laughs> No, 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 no. Bad touch. <laughs> yep. I want to see a boost from Han, I think, here. Yeah, because you don't want to get shot. Yep. You got to get out of there. Although He's going to have all shots on to, on to, wedge, uh, on to uh, Luke. Luke, yeah. Luke up there. Do the boost. He wants the mod, but you have to boost to avoid the shot. Mm -hmm. DJ Sathan, thank you so much. Thank Real you. fun, Bobby. How's it going? And there is the <laughs> there is the boost. That's gonna be a stress token. There it is. He's gonna have three shots in the Luke. He'll have an opportunity to take it off the board. Yep. Three hole Luke. Three hole in the force. Did they measure range for that Guri? Not yet. That okay, is there range one. <laughs> Gets the focus. All right. Yeah, that was that was. Too close to just to pop it down there. All right, uh, Luke. 
five zero five zero saying, "Where did Sam get those lock toes? He made them." Yep. He's a student over in uh, I think a University of Nevada or Reno, one of those, and they have um like a like one a shop, hit. like an acrylic shop or like a, like a laser cutter shop. So he sp spends his spare time there, and he told he made a whole bunch of those. Spends a force there, no damage. No worry, DJ Sathan. Yep, every bit helps. That's absolutely. We're going to get a judge call here whether or not it's obstructed. Fenn does have a focus. He's hoping it's unobstructed. All right, we'll get the, ju the judge to maybe knock all the ships. It happens sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> The judge wishing he had a range two and a half ruler. Mm -hmm. Truth. All right. Oh, this is close. All right, that is obstructed. Range three obstructed. There you go. So unlikely to do any damage here, but you never know. He gets to try. It's going to be three on four. Luke will gain another force once he is targeted. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, never whiff mind. Whiff here from Fen Rao. He might as well just spend the focus. I mean, you're not getting shot back. Yep. It can happen. He's going to feel salty if it's two blanks or if it's all okay. blanks. Uh, X Nyler, thank you for your $25 donation. Appreciate it. Thank it you. Thank you. Instantly double to fifty. Boom. I think they're trying to get to that thousand dollar mark for the for the prizes. That's the next next uh mm. whatchamacallit level. Ooh, ooh, hit crit ooh. crit. Ooh. This is from uh Luke. That, this from? that has to be Luke into I thought they're range I thought they're range one. Or maybe the angle. Bends the focus, only the shield. All right, shields down on Gurry. What's the th what's the uh, price for the thousand dollar mark? Um, let's. I can take a look here in a minute. Sure. So only one hit going into Gurry has a target it's lock. Target though. lock. Uh, Two. Uh, Spends a force. No damage to Luke. Uh, he comes unscathed with three shots going in. That feels bad. Oh, I remember. So at the uh, at the thousand dollar level, we're giving away. So we have the Hanson Brothers yep. token box, mm -hmm. uh, uh, another T shirt we're giving away, and also two different uh, ancient Minoc squadron Got binders. The binders, yep. Yeah, there's not very many of those left. Oh man, these magnets are so strong. They are. They're like those. Uh, what the rare earth magnets? Rare earth. Just to keep it on there, so you, you don't uh, lose your stuff. Ow. <laughs> nice quality. All right. Man, 12 minutes left. Sam really needed <laughs> really needed to clear Luke that turn. Mm -hmm. Not getting him is going to hurt big time cuz he's going to he's going to lose Han this this next turn almost no matter what unless he can pull off some magic. It's it's unlikely that he doesn't uh doesn't lose Luke lose on this turn. Um, looking at the options here, Fen is in a pretty good spot to punish. Honestly, a two straight seems really strong. If you want to make sure to get a shot with Han before he goes, you probably just do something like a one bank. Because he is initiative six. Uh, Guri is in a weird spot. What, what would you do with Guri, Daniel? That's a very good question. He has sense on you too, so that it's really difficult to do anything there. Mm -hmm. um, well, tens. What's Luke gonna do? Luke is in a really weird spot as well. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I have no idea, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's in. A, he's in a weird spot. You just try to set up in a spot to make. Do yeah. you just one forward? Yeah, I think just one forward, because then you have your super barrel roll boost uh, combo to get your angle out a little bit. So I think just a one forward or, or like a one bank. 
maybe like a one bank to the right and maybe Luke overshoots you and then you can barrel behind. Thank you, Haminator. Appreciate your donation. Thank you so much. We're at 936. We're almost at the thousand dollar yeah. mark. Just in letter of what? I can do math. Sixty sixty four dollars. Yes. All right. This is a two bank. Coming from Arvel. Probably just gonna boost here. Try to get him around. Mm-hmm. Yep. White boost around. Don't no need mm -hmm. to link into anything right now. Next turn he can come in a little faster. Yep. Closing the foils, that means he has some shenanigans planned here. Oh, bank. interesting. Out of there. Oh, okay. He wants to avoid getting punished by Fen. Oh, man, but I, th I still think a two forward from Fen gets him, even if he boosts here. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Fen licking his chops. Oh, that's so close. Do you want to get lunch? I'm, I'm ordering Jimmy John's. You want to get lunch order? See if anybody wants. I'm, I'm happy to walk over to if you guys want to put your order in for me. Sure. Is it close to here? Yeah, it's like in the parking lot. Oh, okay. That might just be easier. Was it Subway? All right, it's nine minutes on their counter. Nine minutes and change, yeah. What's he going to get? He said that it's super close. So he can just walk there, I guess. The Jimmy John's or Subway? Jimmy John's? Or did Jimmy he say Subway? Subway's in the same uh, mini mall as us. Jimmy John's is like a no, I prefer three fourths of a mile away. I don't know. I prefer I prefer I prefer Jimmy's. I do too. Jim All right, too hard here from Wedge. Did he open his S foils? Yes. Yes, they're open. Yes, he okay. did. Gurry, that was a pretty aggressive move with a turnaround. Yeah, but I mean, it's naked dice for Wedge, so he Gurry might be okay here. Mm -hmm. See what. Too straight. Too straight. Use the wiggle room. Use it. Nah, I don't think he's going to have it. Nah, uh, that's out of arc. No. Whew, good move by Vincent. I wonder if a two bank with a bump. Oh, yeah, definitely a two bank with a bump there as well. So, yeah, that was a good move on Vincent to get Luke out of there, and mm -hmm. he is gone. No, but, uh -huh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish. Oh, basic, but at the same time, Vincent is still down on points. I mean, he's super close to yes. getting something, but he's still down, and there's the time is click. Uh, the time is winding down. So absolutely. I mean, having Luke just run isn't going to win in this game. Yep, uh, Han, is, and also the fact that Luke decided not to be aggressive here mm -hmm. means that Luke uh, Han's going to get to live another turn. Yes, and get to take shots here. We might see the rotate. Just depends on what he is planning for the next couple turns. He might be tempted to keep it left, right, because he's, he's going to have an have... interaction with this rock here pretty soon. No, let's say he just goes ahead and rotate. There you go. Yeah, it's tough, though, having just two, two naked dice. Yeah. You know? And especially into Luke, it's very hard to plink damage through there. And looks like the arc. Ooh, that's tight. It might be in. Looks like they're, they're calling it dice, in. So, yep. Two hits. Total of three, three dice, because of yeah. range three. Uh, one goes through. Plinking one, away. One Still above away half. half. Yeah, yeah, one away. Oh, Sam is in such a precarious situation here. Uh, range, th range three from, uh, uh, well, yeah, there you go. Range three from Han into Luke, it looks like. One. Right, one hit. Ah, safe. No dice. All right, but here comes the Gurry shot. Guys, I can't call a judge for an arc check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's like, it's, Sam agreed to it. And also, remember, we're, we're kind of at a funky angle, too, right? It's not... Yeah, it's not we're, not, we're not top down. It's we're at like, like a slight angle, so that mm -hmm. distorts it. Ooh, uh, two hits. That's, that's there you go. Two fours, no dice. Out. 
All right, six minutes left. Right. Now, in this situation, if I were Sam, I would – honestly, I would ignore Luke because he already has half on yeah. Luke. Um, I would try and maybe swing around somehow and maybe get guns on either Arvel or Wedge mm -hmm. and take take that trade. Just because I feel like Vincent is in the running mode for – Yeah, I Sir wonder Luke. if Vincent thinks he's ahead on points because you never know the awareness level of a player – Mm -hmm. When it comes to the clock, like it's, uh, you know, it, it can it can definitely <laughs> it can definitely vary. <laughs> now, with five minutes left, this is maybe the last turn. We might get two. I think two. It just These really guys depends. Are, they, are, they have a relatively good pace, I think, so they'll probably get two. All right. Free Fen Rao check with sense. Yep. Hard one. Judge did just call five minutes left. We're right on with our clock. One hard. Not very aggressive here with Arvel. Mm -hmm. He's kind of still playing safe. I, I feel that... Vincent thinks he might be ahead on points because uh, he's playing very he's being very ca like very cagey, cagey yeah. very uh, conservative moves where he needs to get in there and get those points. Oh, it looks like they're calculating points. Oh no, they're never mind. All right, just a white boost there for Arvel. Gonna keep running. Yep. I mean, Vincent does have him effectively baited right now. He Sam yep. is continuously going after mm -hmm. Luke, and with the boost, yeah, you you, you don't want to. Luke's in a bad spot. Don't don't go after him. Yep. So hopefully Sam saw that coming and is gonna turn back in on Wedge, maybe. Yeah. Or Arvel. Guri being stressed. Oh yeah, that is, is, is tough. Stressed, yeah. Okay, he didn't do anything too crazy with, like, turning in. He's going to clear the stress there. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, what if he self-bumps on purpose? Did he actually – did he bump? I'm not sure. I think he did. I think he did, yeah. Oh, man. Action. Ooh, this can, this can hurt Gurry. Oh, no, oh, no, didn't. no, he no, didn't bump. He didn't okay, bump. so that was saying it would be pretty cool – oh, he's going to go the opposite direction. So he's going to go for a boost. Okay. Get some range there. Get behind that rock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now what I was saying is it could have been cool if he had barreled this way mm -hmm. and got behind Han, especially Guri without mods is very sad. Yep. Took the stress there. So he's going to calculate the focus. focus yeah. Calculate rather. Again, a very conservative move from Vincent. I mean, maybe maybe <laughs> he's actually the most aware of the clock. He's literally going to do it on the very last turn. Plink. Ooh. Victory. <laughs> the chat wants him to sweep the leg. Hard one here from Fen Rao. Got boost in. So next turn, we have one round left after this. This this will determine it. Uh, we got ooh. Felsepto. Thank you so much. Breaking the thousand dollar mark. We you did it. Woo woo. Can we get some get some emotes in the chat? Let's get some BB eights. Thumbs up. They're asking for points now. Yep. Seventy three to sixty six, boys. Sam is ahead. Right, so he's full there, half there. Uh, this dead, and full there. Yeah. All righty. 
This might be the last turn with this attack. We're under a minute here uh, in a few seconds. He can't shoot that way. His arc's pointing the wrong way. I think he's just... Oh, they're checking closest to closest. Yeah. Okay, okay. They're determining so what is closest yeah, to closest. Yeah, yeah. It's obstructed. Range so three. Through a rock. He's got he needs one hit. So three on three? I think it is three on three. Here we go. Ooh. Oh okay. Sam's looking for all pain here. He needs all pain. This is for all the bananas. Go faster, go faster. Twenty seconds. Oh, oh, and that is Han, and that is the game yep. right go there. Go faster, go faster. 15 seconds. Sam, you got to get you gotta get dialed down, buddy. Go dials. Just don't more, no more shooting. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> Five, well, I mean, he does have a four. couple shots going on to Luke, and if he gets Luke, that'd be, then Truth. It, it swings back. Truth. Yeah, thank you. So hey, you hey, spend the focus for one. Two hits uh, there. There it is, two hits. Three dice from... Ah, he's fine. Of course. Oh. Did Guri focus as well that turn, or? Yeah, calculated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's underneath there. I see yep. it now. It's high there. Range three. Range three again. Oh. Oh. Threw a oh. dice on the floor. He has a target lock out there, though. Oh, that's true. He does. Reroll that dice. Okay. All right. He's going to reroll those two with the lock. lock. There we go. All right. There's All right. three. Whew. Okay. Takes one. I mean, the odds of this. It was a crit. It was a crit. All right. Hang on. I'll be right back. I'll go. Do they flip uh, it? Let's or? see. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. I'll tell them. Did, wait, he might have got them. There's, I think there are four cards on. Oh, no, he dealt it in the wrong spot. That's why. Okay. Sorry, it wasn't a crit. Not a crit. Sorry, he was just messing with the cards on the wrong on the wrong ship. And, it was not a crit. It was and a crit. that is the game right there. Luke lives. That was a fantastic game. Thank you so much to Sam and Vincent for that awesome game. Came down to the wire. Vincent wins ninety eight to seventy three. Good game, good game. I clap for you. Very good, very good. Yep. I enjoyed. <laughs> Sam just not rolling good and <laughs> finishes the attack there. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Gary goes down as well. Insult to injury. <laughs> Man. When I see people roll dice like that, I ask, what did, what did you what, what did you do? <laughs> I know. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> I mean, those, those bad ones are always going to – whoops, wrong one – those bad rolls are always going to come back around. How's it going, everybody? Well, that was awesome. We – oh, you know what? I forgot to put my check marks from earlier. Let's go ahead and do that. So we gave away the two ships, mm -hmm. and we gave away Got the, Anna the, the, the uh, Anakin. The, uh, the Comic-Con Anakin. Absolutely. And now next we're going to do the um, the Region No Engage <laughs> t-shirt. From uh, Buenos Aires. From Buenos Aires, yes. yes. Inspired by Buenos Aires. People were asking me to – originally I was going to put the I Choose Violence mm -hmm. on a T-shirt. Yeah. But then it's like all oh, the political climate and all the crazy stuff that happens in our world. I decided to make it game words, make it engage. Yeah. That's why it's not there. I've already got emails. Hey, where's this t I'm not going to do it. Uh, and then also shout out to um, Hanson Brothers Gaming. They actually gave us a, a, a prototype uh, box here. Very strong, very strong cover. Your, your tokens ain't going anywhere. Uh, where this is, you know, just a, a really cool token box. More information is actually on their uh, their Kickstarter, which yep. we're going to be talking about a little bit more uh, next week in Europe. 
but uh, they have this whole system where you can get a bunch of different tray systems. Um, they also have, uh, which Patrick actually has with him, where it's like a, a double set. So mm -hmm. if you want something long rather than yep. tall, you can build it there as well. Um, but we're giving this one away, this specialty Gold Squadron podcast. Uh, there's, a, there's a little bit of an extra rule with this one, though. Uh, this one's going to be uh, U.S. only. Okay. U.S. only. So if we roll somebody who isn't in the U.S., let me know in the chat, and we'll get you to something else super sweet. Okay? We'll get you something. Mm -hmm. Okay? We'll I, I do have an extra Anakin uh, from Comic-Con, so if that doesn't work, there's that as a compensation. Th there it is. There it is. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's let's do these giveaways. Mm -hmm. um, well, one last thing about this cool box yes. that they designed it. Uh, at tournaments, you typically only have like three to four inches on your side of the board um, just of space to work with. And I know some other – like tr like trays for templates and other things like that are w larger and bigger. <laughs> 12 so, inches. Yeah, so they don't always fit. So this one actually is nice because you just put it right in front of your set, uh, your position, and it's got all the stuff for you. So right. easier to put on the table as well. Absolutely. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get started in the chat. That's how you participate. Pull out your phones, guy. <laughs> 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 Right, yep. exactly. So in the Kickstarter, you can say um, that they have different ones with different sizes. Yep. There's one, all ki all kinds of different modules. They're making a Chad token module. They're making it. Yes, I did talk to them about it. We're getting a lot. <laughs> the Chad token module, the large. He's actually working with Andrew Knuckles of Curled Paul to get that made. So super excited about that. Let's let's go ahead and uh, you know what? Let's just start by giving this away. All right, let's make good. it happen. This is the first one. Uh, person who wins, you got to let me know whether or not you're in the U.S. That's the first thing. And I, I can actually see you in the chat. So we're going to wait for you and say, yes, I'm in the U.S. Here we go. Three or not. Three, two, one. Winner is? Uh, Twitchy555. Five five. Twitchy555. Five five. All right, let's see. Twitchy555, five five. are you in the U.S.? Yes. Waiting. We're waiting. He says, hey. hey. He didn't say yes if he's in the U.S. or not. I'm in Oz. I'll be in. You know what? They're gonna be in in yeah, works. Sydney. There you I'll, go. I will take it to you. Boom! Still fill it out. Exclamation point. Win and say Dion. Hand delivered by Dion. There you go. With a hug. <laughs> That's optional. You know, upon delivery. All right. He will deliver it. But do fill out the form. So exclamation point. Win and fill the form out so that he knows who to give it to. Absolutely. Okay, I want a Pepe. Pepe. <laughs> What's a Pepe? <laughs> yes, Isofane's gonna message you. Yes. Uh, All right, cool. So we got that. Next, let's go ahead and give away some cards, and then we're gonna do the, the binders and the t-shirts. Oh, so exciting! All righty. So let me tell my order so I can get that going. Yeah, you're good. You're good. I'm going to mute here for a second. Sure. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and give away some stuff. Speaking of Oz, here's from Onyx Squadron. Onyx Squadron, Dutch Vander. Who's going to get this? Here we go. Three, two, one. Roll it. Congratulations to Wind Raven. Wind Raven again. That is the Onyx Squadron, Dutch Vander. Next, we have an Ello World. Ello World. This is one of those tech cards. You call it tech card, L-O-A-S-T-Y, or tech card, L-O world. Three, two, one, roll it. Pooler Buds, congratulations for the W there. Boom. Let's do a couple more of these tech cards. Oh, I got another L-O world right here on top. Three, another one of these. Three, two, one. The Gradon, Congratulations. Next, we have from the Southside Sarlax. This is a Mace Windu, the Jedi Bamf. All right. So who's going to get the Jedi Bamf from the Southside Sarlax? That's hard to say. Say that ten times fast. Southside Sarlax, Southside Sarlax, Southside Sarlax, Southside Sarlax, Southside Sarlax, Southside Sarlax, Southside Sarlax. Here we go. Who's getting it? That is Gambler Tuba. Congratulations. All right. Following since March of 2017, long time follower. He's an OG for sure. I wonder who had who. 
I'm curious to know who was the first person who clicked follow on, on our page. There's no way for me to check that. I don't think there is. I'm just curious. All right. So out of St. Louis, this is from uh, the Arch Alliance. They're big into the hockeys, the, uh, the Arch Alliance. And uh, they have here the St. Louis Blues won the Stanley Cup. So this is the St. Louis Arch Alliance Heroic. All right, ready? Three, two, one. We got Soaring Embers. Soaring Embers, you are the winner. Boom. Now we have an FFG official juke. Everybody's favorite card. <laughs> juke, 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 juke. Uh, we got uh, Dart Sun. Dart Sun. Dart Sun. A lot of long time. Well, December 2018. So about a half a year now. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and give away. What do you want to do first? One of the binders or the t-shirts? Uh, binders first. Binders first. All right. Do we want to scum or imperial first? Uh, imperial. All right. So imperial. We're going to give away the imperial Minoc squadron uh, binder. These are out of print. They can't be received anywhere else, guys. I have I have the last stock of them. <laughs> also, <laughs> uh, don't ask me how I got them. Okay. No ask questions. But uh, they're no longer sold. So um, vintage X-wing item here. Here we go. Imperial card binder. Three, two, one. Winner is. We have NG Murray. NG Murray, congratulations. Now we have the scum binder. Three, two, one. Get it. E Y P S I R H C. Epicuric? Epicuric? Epi Sir H C. Epi Sir. Uh, yeah. I think by now they should know who they are. <laughs> and last but not least, we have the. Regen? No. Engage. T-shirt. Here we go. Who's going to get it? Three, two, one. We have B. Bauer, 001. You are the winner. And I think I saw you donate a, quite a bit of money earlier, too, I believe. Yeah. So congratulations. And thank you. Yep, and thank you. And uh, just so you guys know how the giveaways work, it's a anybody in the Twitch chat is eligible. Um, I, I legally required to say that, okay? Mm -hmm. It's not pay to play. It's just whoever, whoever, it, all you got to do is type. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Yep. But uh, like, again, people who are subs do have a, I believe it's ten, ten, 10 times. 10 times more luck, yeah. More luck, yep. That's how that system is designed. So uh, if you are a sub, you do have a higher, a higher chance of winning. All right, Daniel. I'm going to go ahead and put our, our check mark. We've given away yep. our $1,000 level worth of stuff. Let's do it. So we got, what, more T-shirts coming up and then the full sets of waves. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So um, in, at the $1,500 level, we have, uh, we have some more. We got T-shirt. We got a full, uh, the premium hoodies. All right. We got, we're giving one of those away. And the next person who, who uh, the person, the next prize in there is you get to choose the character for one of our next upcoming alt arts. Yep. And that's big because that's like GSP history mm -hmm. emblazoned in there. You know what? Yep. Maybe should I put their like name on it? Like chosen by. I can do that. Boom. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll or you, maybe like maybe their little Twitch handle yeah. or some kind of handle on like if it's a ship or a pilot like on the name badge. Can I make a small print there. Oh, that's probably too small to fit that. It depends on the art. We could we could do we could do some. We could yeah. do something. Oh hi sir. Hey. How are you doing sir? Uh oh. How may I help hey. you? Uh oh. Panic. Panic. I f why do I feel like ashamed? I'm like <laughs> <laughs> groveling here while accepting money. <laughs> Thank you. That's fine. It's fine. We're safe. Do you want me to use your Twitch handle? Thank you, Tyco. Thank you, Tyco Kelchu. What's the What's the numbers? Seventeen oh seven. He's the only Tyco Kelchu. He's the only Kelchu Tyco Kelchu that exists mm -hmm. in my heart. You're number one. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, man. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and add two hundred dollars to our, uh, our Isofane Challenge Bar, which brings us within striking distance of our next goal down hoodies, here. Yep. Which, by the way, there's a secret prize at the $1,500 level. Ooh. But we won't find out until we get there. Thank you so much, everybody. You guys are awesome. Th I want them to see that I'm... <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. We'll be back here. Uh, the lunch break ends at 5? Uh, I think it's 5.15, I want to say. 5.15. So right. uh, roughly Brent, an hour. He's going to go find out. Roughly an hour from now. <laughs> Lebo24 says, the secret is that I won't win. Anybody can win. 
Uh, Lava Field Toasty using that exclamation point merch. Yes, we have our uh, our Teespring shop on there. We got 515 yeah. confirmed here. Let's go ahead and put that on here. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be our round four. Bam. Start time. 5. 15. We'll be back, and uh, we're it's, it's time to eat some lunch. Yep. And, yes, Nano, Antonio, we've completed three or six rounds today, so we have three more rounds after lunch, and then we'll do a cut to top eight tomorrow. That's right. All right, guys. So uh, we are one-third of the way through the event and one-fifth to our goal. You guys are slacking. <laughs> I'm sorry. You, you guys are slacking out there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we will take a break here. We'll be back later.